Well, hi, I'm Jim. I'm Sandra. We are tired, retired old timers. Taking it easy. One day at a time. Well, we're here at the museum, August 31st, today, 2023, and we got our tickets. We're ready to go inside and go check out the bones. The bones. <laughs> she keeps calling it the bones. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're ready to go inside. So, thanks for joining us. Make sure to give us a thumbs up. Hey, we're almost at uh, 300 subscribers. So, maybe if you subscribe, we'll go over that 300. So, are you ready to go, dear? I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Okay. Well, you ready to go inside? Let the tickets out. This world-renowned museum was named after Joseph Burr Terrell and given royal status by Queen Elizabeth in 1990. We are going to start this journey in a Christerius period. As we enter, you'll see the early dinosaurs of that period and first the Albertosaurus. The Alberta as it was 69 million years ago. So it was really busy that day, as you might have noticed out of the parking lot, it was really full. So I'm going to turn down the background noise most of the time during this video. This skull is of a Displetosaurus, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, which means frightful lizard. It was the king, predator of its time. The museum is divided into sections. We now enter the Foundations area, which introduces visitors to key themes, ideas, principles behind the study of paleontology. One of the main stars of this museum is the Tyrannus Rex, known as Black Beauty. The prepartation pre lab. The preparation lab is where visitors can watch as fossils found right here in Alberta are prepared for research and display. Here, the technicians remove the surrounding rock to expose the fossils for further research. Now take a look at woolly mammoth. This woolly mammoth is about the size of a modern African elephant. You may remember watching the mammoth in the movie Ice Age, named Manny. Jump up on my back and relax the whole way. Wow, really? No. Make a journey through time. This area exhibits highlights of the incredible diversity of animal life during the Paleozoic time. From this mezzanine level, you can peek down and see the Dinosaur Hall, which we will visit later. It's retail 
fins and big eyes swims out away. Descending to the surface of the sea floor beneath you, a school of Morella, the most common of the shale's creatures, is diverted by the larger trilobite, Polanoides. Probing the sponge for prey, the carnivore Leancolia senses its world with whip-like tentacles. Above, Nectoparis with a fish-like body and insect-like head hunts for smaller prey. Ambushing an unsuspecting Nicoya, five-eyed Opavinia prepares to... During your journey through the museum, you can take a break in the new Learning Lounge where you can enjoy interpretive displays and hands-on activities that are all about Canada's first known Rhinovis dinosaur. figure out where I live anymore. Must be a different planet. Oh, there's Alberta, right there. There's Alberta. Oh, there it is. Zoic. 252, 2001 million years ago. Oh. Where's Alberta? Oh, there's Alberta. Right there. That's a big fish. And is this the skeleton of the fish? No, it's actually the world's largest marine reptile, the Triassic Giant. Now we're entering the Jurassic period in the Dinosaur Hall. The Dinosaur Hall has one of the world's largest display of dinosaur remains. Here is the first dinosaur we're looking at is Camarasaurus. Here is the king of the dinosaurs, the Tyrannosaurus rex. Its large, robust teeth, strong jaws, forward-facing eyes, and a keen sense of smell made this dinosaur the king of the lizards. This one is a Camptosaurus, a plant-eating, beaked dinosaur of the late Jurassic period of Western North America and the Stegosaurus recognized by the distinctive kite shit upright plates along their backs and that spikes on their tails. I think if all these animals were alive today. Oh sometimes I think it's a I think it's a good thing they're not alive, right? Yeah. <laughs> Especially the size of them. Yeah. Wouldn't want to deal with them in our backyard. <laughs> Okay, Dino, he's home. Go say hello. No, no, Dino, no. Hold it, boy. Hold it. <laughs> now stop it, Dino. <laughs> Ceratopsians are herbivores with parrot-like beaks, bony frills, and in a lot of cases, horns. The Gorgosaurus, which means fierce lizard, was most likely a scavenger.
Prosorolophus was a large-headed duckbill. It had a small, stout, triangular crest in front of the eyes. The size of this crest was concave, forming depressions. We're looking at bones, nothing but bones. She says, I'm getting tired of looking at all these bones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's a good thing they don't have flesh on them. Yeah. <laughs> no, they might become alive and that'd be no good. Actually, I'm getting tired of trying to pronounce some of these dinosaur names. But this one I know, Triceratops. It had a three-horned face. That's where we were looking down from, over there. Regala Ceratops. This specimen was nicknamed Hellboy, Dunkleosteus, the armored megafish that terrorized the Devonian Sea. Nothing under the sea was safe during the Devonian period with this massive armored predator swimming around. So where Drumheller is right now used to be the Bear Paw Sea, and it was home to many marine reptiles. That would include this Dimetrodon, and short-necked Fesiosaur. We are now in the Cenozoic era, the age that we live in, the age of mammals. This is a Celadonta, which kind of looks like present-day rhinoceros. Well, that ends our time inside the museum. There was a lot more that we didn't share here. One place we didn't go to was the Crustaceous Garden. Make sure you check that out. Unfortunately, we walked right by it and missed it. So now let's go outside and check out the trails. Well, we played out yet? Now that we're finished in the museum, just outside of the museum, is the Badlands Interpretive Trail. And uh, that is about a one kilometer loop trail, and they allow you to explore the Badlands safely. So you just follow the trail, stay on the path, and uh, it takes probably anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes, depending on how fast you go. So. We've uh, been on that trail a few different times. I believe we were there in something like 2015, 2020, and again in 2023. Not a lot of video on that trail, but come along with us as we share some photographs on the Badlands Interpretive Trail.
Well, I'm Jim. I'm Sandra. We are tired, retired old timers. Taking it easy. One day at a time. Well, thanks for joining us. Hopefully you enjoyed our adventures here at the museum. And uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. You can hit Sandra's thumbs up too. <laughs> yeah. And don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to hit the... Hit the... <laughs> forgot already. That little bell thing. That oh, notification bell. Notification bell. I was thinking of it when I came out of the motor home. <laughs> Notification bell. We could try that again, eh? <laughs> yeah. Don't forget to hit the no the notification bell. No, the thumbs up first. <laughs> Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Stop. Don't forget to, to subscribe if you haven't already. And then hit the notification bell. Yeah, got it that time. <laughs> well, thanks for watching again. And God, God bless. bless.